Left, center, right, or justified? The age-old question of alignment. PowerPoint makes switching alignment a snap with the four icons found in the Home tab of the ribbon. Let's experiment with slide number two. We'll select the text boundary for the title of the slide introductions. And with it selected, we can change the alignment currently on the left. Here I'll click on center or right or back to left. But let's also look at slide number three. Our endorsement slide gives us an interesting opportunity to control the alignment. This paragraph here may look better as justified. Justified means that all of the words are spaced out to fully reach both left and right margins. It's how newspaper columns are almost always printed. Right now, this paragraph is set to left. Let's change it to center, right, and now let's try justified. Notice how text expands to the left and right margins. The restaurant owner's name and title might look better here aligned to the right. I'll select both lines this time and come up and click on the right align button. Did you know that alignment isn't just left to right? It's also top to bottom. And in PowerPoint, we can align text to the top, middle, or bottom of a text box too. Still in slide number three, let's right click on our text box and choose Format Shape. As you can see, there are a lot of options here in the Format Shape dialog box. But let's focus on alignment for the time being. I'll click on Text Box on the left, and here I can change the vertical alignment from top to middle or bottom. Let's change it back to middle and then hit close. Alignment may seem pretty trivial, but it's an important step in making sure that our slides are easy to read. Also keep in mind that the human brain prefers text to be left aligned. It reads things easier that way, and too much text that's centered can be difficult to read. That doesn't mean you can't use center, just use it sparingly and always be consistent.